The reality of financial markets. When price goes down, people panic and they sell. When price goes up, people FOMO in and buy at increasing levels of risk. To be successful inside any financial market, it doesn't matter what the market is. Crypto, the stock market, Forex commodities. You must invert that thinking. When you see price action like this, you need to get excited. The logic of this, if you believe in the project that you're investing or trading in, you just got a discount. But unfortunately, this is how 1% of people think. That 1% consistently makes money because they understand the role of percentages. You cannot be successful inside any financial market until you learn not to panic when the price goes red. In this video, I'm going to give you tips and tricks on how to survive the red days and how to prosper inside them. You'll find it incredibly valuable. And nobody talks about this on YouTube. As a community, we go long at spot. Okay, let's get into it and let's run the numbers. To be successful inside financial markets, you have to avoid what all these people are doing here. They're running away. When the price goes down, they're coming back when the price goes up. This is markets simply moving in a wave. They do it all the time. This is natural price behavior. But people think when the price comes down, it's going down to zero. When the price goes up, it's going to infinity and beyond. The truth is, structural levels control price movements. There is utterly no reason to fear the red days. Just remember, if you want to go shopping for something and you will only buy it in the real world, the non-financial world, the retail world, when the price has gone up 20, 30, 40, 50, even 100%, you would be classified as being insane. It would go something like this. Hey, guess what? I got the latest iPhone and I paid 50% more than the retail price. Wow, I'm a winner. We've got to start thinking differently or the whales will have a field day with your bank account. It's time to start breaking people out of the retail mindset. Any person can deal with prices when they go up. How do you react when prices come down? And you can see this price is going up and coming down, going up, coming down, going up, coming down. Having been inside financial markets for nearly four decades, I can tell you the one thing that you absolutely totally need to know is how to become independent of the retail herd. Those people that rush to the retail shops saying, I'm only going to buy an iPhone or a Google phone or what the heck phone if they want only if it's gone up 50%. It's like literally nuts to even talk like that, but that's how people view the markets. Sophisticated investors, they don't think that way. They think in terms of structure. They need to know where the ceiling is, where support is, how strong that support is, how much confluence. And they always know price is continuously moving in a wave. When you get a wave down, that's nothing to be concerned about. That's something to take advantage of. If you're finding that the market is controlling your emotions, you can have a better way of approaching things. But it means that you must stop guessing. You must start knowing. It's the guessing that leads to terror. And a lot of people want certainty out of the market. How can you have certainty with an exponential asset class that moves in a curvilinear direction? That is, price is imploding and exploding all the time, and it's always moving between structural levels. What you need to know and understand is simply the structural level. If you understand this, you're on the winning team already. The next key, after you stop guessing and start knowing, is to get your mind really positive. Focus on building your wealth one positive attitude at a time. In the US, the annualized return on investment is 3.40% right now for savings. 3.4% on $1,000 gives you a $34 return over the span of 12 months. You got it, 365 days. 
Inside Zone 3, we understand percentages incredibly well. You get on the right side of the percentage when you get prices on the way down. I'd like to give you an example of how this actually works in practice. You can see on Doge here, Doge USDT, I bought $2,000 worth and I turned it over within about seven hours. And what was the resultant percentage? It was a 3.42%, not 3.40. You can see that the annualized return on investment is extremely high. That's what you're after as a professional investor or trader. A very high annualized ROI. Again, nobody talks about this. The absolute gain and the absolute return on investment are immaterial, they're unimportant. The annualized return on investment, that's the only thing that's important. Another thing to just bear in mind, the invested amount does not have to be great. You can be putting in $50, $100, whatever it is that you can afford. And so long as you're turning these annualized return on investments, high annualized ROIs, you're going to do incredibly well. One thing to note, I have a red box around this area and a green box around that area, creating some more confluence around that trade. You can see that inside Doge, price was coming down and this is where I bought. When price came back up, this is where I sold. So this is the buy transaction out of the trading history. And what about this? This is the sell transaction up here. You can see that sell there. But notice something else. I didn't stop there. I was buying and then what was I doing? I was selling. You can do these multiple turnovers of cash and they're incredibly valuable and powerful. When we apply the CTKS method, we're getting on the right side of the percentage and we're offloading on the positive side of the percentage. This is the way you make real money inside financial markets. Inside our community, we believe in Borsog trading. Buy on red, that's hence the red area. Sell on green, that's the green area. There are three markets, a bull market, a bear market, and a Borsog market. One is always profitable. That is the Borsog market. That's the market that we're in. The top end of town, the big institutions, the banks, the hedge funds, and the other whales and big players, they all want you to panic when prices go red. They're counting on you being inside zone one and zone two. They're counting on that you don't run the numbers. You don't know where structure is. You're just guessing. And when you guess, there's always a degree of anxiety and terror. Instead, the key to know and understand is just simply CTKO structure, which is total market structure of the tier one, tier two, and tier three charts. This will tell you where the ceilings and safety nets are inside the market. What typically happens, most people look at the news, so let's go and do that. In crypto news today, the news headline sentiment is basically neutral. Coinbase stock surges 18% in a week as CEO Brian Armstrong says the Binance settlement closes that chapter of crypto's history. Richard Tang has become CEO of crypto exchange Binance and he's outlining his steps forward. Do Kwan has been extradited from Montenegro. Whilst this is happening, the top end of town is getting into crypto. Commerce Bank granted a cryptocurrency license in Germany. It's always good to remember that the crypto market is a multi-trillion dollar market, in fact $1.41 trillion. It has incredible support right across the board. And Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is one of the advocates for financial freedom via crypto. Very few people understand that crypto is simply the evolution of the internet, Web 2.0. Web 3.0 is the internet of money. It's actually built on the net. The US wants to protect their banking system. Dubai and other leading countries are saying, US, take your time, we'll grab the market share. All around the world, more and more interest has been given to crypto. Crypto miner Hive expands data center operations in Sweden. OKX launches crypto exchange wallet services in Brazil. 
and Bybit is wooing people with crypto cards with reward programs. Traditional finance is getting into crypto, but it's terrifying retail in the process. How does it do that? It's really quite simple. When the whales want to get in at a better price, they simply short the stock. They make the price go down and that makes people panic. Well, hopefully not you. What I did when reading the news is just conducted a very cursory fundamental analysis on the crypto market. It is strong. You're going to see more and more news headlines about crypto. eToro secures license to operate brokerage for securities, derivatives, crypto in, <gasps> you guessed it, the UAE. When prices go red, everybody's looking for the reason. They're looking for news. If you were looking into the news today, you wouldn't find anything that shows you the price is going down or gives you a reason for it to happen. This is natural inside financial markets. When we look at the major markets or the main markets, we can see all sectors were just slightly down 0.10%. If people were looking at the crypto market trying to understand why did prices go down today? What's the news? Let me look at the news. It must be in the news. Ah, it's not like that at all. Just remember those evil whales with their red eyes. They don't pay full price, but they want you to panic sell. Stop doing it. The whales also want you to use leverage and as much of it as possible. The longs lost $94.27 million in 24 hour liquidations. If you're an expert at spot, you can definitely get into leverage, but if you don't know what you're doing, you'll just end up giving all your money to the whales. Please don't do that either. Could it be something in the macroeconomic data releases when we look at ctksnews.com? Ah, we don't see anything. But as always, there is a reason. That reason is hidden inside the charts. A lot of people say, oh, can charts, they don't make much difference. Well, just put it this way. The charts are the actual representation of price. They tell you reality. Everything else is fantasy. The whales, the big end of town, they know this. This is why it becomes essential to know where the ceilings and safety nets of price are across the tier one, tier two, and tier three charts. It's very important you keep your eye on the DXY. The DXY is incredibly powerful. It's been in a downtrend for quite some time. When we look at the US 10 year yield, we can also see that's coming down. The US two year yield has been coming down as well. Masterclass students pay particular attention to the cut under. When that huge fine was leveraged on Binance, you can see that BNB has been coming down. It was indeed a shock to the crypto market. You will find that all alts move in directional correlation with Bitcoin and total crypto market cap. These are very important to keep your eyes on. When the Binance fine was leveraged on Binance, you can see BNB coming down here. This is total crypto market cap. The structural levels inside total are vitally important to crypto at this current time. The key is how is crypto holding up? When we pop on the indicator, we can see these SLs, these Stanfield levels, and these levels are drawn from all of price history, over 3,900 days worth when it comes to total crypto market cap, and they're drawn by level one and level two standard certification. You can see these particular one support lines are turning into resistance. But this is not necessarily a problem. If you believe in crypto, if you believe in your projects, this means you're getting a discount. Most people want to buy when the price is going up and then they get trapped and caught at the top they then sell at a loss. If you can think about the concept, you're buying when prices go up. It's like you want an iPhone or some Android phone. You will only buy when the price in the retail shops is going up. And you'll trade your phone in when discounts come. And then when price is going up, you'll buy that phone again. It's nuts, but this is what people do inside financial markets. The key is to stop doing it. 
Inside our channel, I let you know what you need to know, not what you want to hear. A lot of people want to hear what is the next 1000x gem. That 1000x gem is most likely a scam and will take all your money. If it's not a scam, potentially the founders are dodgy and they will take all your money. People have a really contorted view on financial markets. They are not sure how the markets work, so therefore they want to strike it rich and strike it big very quickly and then hopefully get out. I recommend that you watch the film Dumb Money. Dumb Money is nothing about dumb money. It's really about people banding together to take on the big end of town and it's a beautiful film. But it focuses on many things. People get trapped. What do I do? Do I buy? Do I sell? Professionals never ask another person that question. They already know what to do. But how do they know? Let's look at gold for an illustration. Say you are into gold and you wanted to know. Say back here, for example, before gold broke out, you wanted to know, is it good to get into gold? What's happening with gold? What is the structure of gold? And here you're seeing in excess of 69,000 days being marked up with support and resistance levels. You can see gold's been around a long time. When gold came up to challenge this 2001 mark, what happened? It started to go up. And I actually posted this on X yesterday. When you get a rising of price above a structural, and this is a CTKS structural resistance level, when it turns into support, it's going to the next levels above. And when it looks like this and has this pattern, you expect it to go up to the next one, which is 2016. And that's what it did. And what happened then? Because you know the internal structure, you know that particular level is really, really solid. It's going to be hard for gold to get through. In all likelihood, it's going to need to consolidate before it can go higher. If it goes down, where's it going to? Structural support areas. If it goes above, it's going to the next one. If it goes below and can't get above, it's going to the one below. How simple is that? It's so, so very simple to understand price action inside the market, but people don't look at CTKS structure. That's why they panic sell. How is CTKS structure different from normal support and resistance lines? The first thing to note is the duration of data analysis. CTKS structure is drawn up across all of price history. This is very significant. This is exactly why Gold, with such a trading history, over well, nearly 70,000 days worth of trading history, showed us where the structural resistance and structural support levels were inside the market. The natural tendency is to buy when prices go up because you feel safe and you feel warm and fuzzy that the price on paper shows that your net worth is increasing, but it's fake. The whales, the top end of town, doesn't think that way at all. It wants you to panic. Panic on the way up and panic on the way down. Please watch that dumb money film. It shows you the enormous panic that people go through. When you have a system, you will not panic. Art talks about the perfect system. He says, my day starts with checking out the tier one, tier two and tier three charts to see which way the wind is blowing. Well done, Art. That is the first step to overcoming panic. Art's been inside financial markets for more than four decades. Well done, my friend. Looking at the S&P 500, which has over 55,000 days worth of data, we understand that we've come up through a fresh air gap. We've overcome a level of resistance and converted it into support. But we're trying to battle a level of overhead resistance currently and the market is going flat and slightly negative. When you look at charts with the CTKS method, you can draw these SCs or Stanfield zones. They encapsulate all the SLs underneath price action. As TF Theta said, I remember looking at the charts without the SL lines and feeling kind of lost and confused. Why were some, some going up and some going down? 
Only after learning the CTKS method and utilizing the CTKS method service, this confusion has turned into knowledge and gave confidence on how to approach the markets and the markets are always moving in a wave. There isn't a single instance now where I would look at the market without applying the CTKS method. It truly provides the X-ray vision required to see where price is going. Not just where it's been, but where it's likely to progress to. When we look at the S&P 500, it's having trouble overcoming this structural resistance above 4566. It's in all likelihood going to retrace a little, find support, and then rechallenge that area. If it doesn't rechallenge, if the bears gain control, they could push it down, all the way down to 4441. But that takes time. But the key is, we know what's going on inside the main markets. But why do we need to know that? Because crypto cannot escape the gravity of the main markets. We need to pay attention. The DXY and the dollar yen are really good to look at together in terms of where things could be going. And we can see the dollar yen. Look at all of this structural resistance through that 149, 54, 63 mark. It just came up and was rejected, 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 rejected. And, and now it's lost structural support. There's a lot of negative price momentum or negative momentum on the Japanese yen or dollar yen, as well as the DXY. This is typically very good for markets. So why is the price going down if it's good for markets? It's very easy to understand. It's because of rule four price moves in waves. When you understand the price is always moving in waves, what you know is the price will go up, price will go down. Why does price go up? Well, it gets over a structural resistance level, turns it to support and goes to the next structural resistance level. Why does it go down? Because it got to a structural resistance level, couldn't hold it. It's coming down to find support. It's that simple. Unfortunately, people don't know structural support and structural resistance levels, so they panic. If you don't have the knowledge, you'll panic. If you have the knowledge, you'll have a system. In order to avoid panic, do not let the market control your emotions. If the market is going down, you should have an elation feeling. Oh, about time. I'm getting on the right side of the percentage. You'll start to feel this way inside zone three and zone four. You know if you're inside zone one and zone two because you'll feel, feel panic. And if you feel terror, you've just been guessing. And if you've just been guessing, you've been gambling. And if you've been gambling, the house always wins. To not let the big guys win, to not let the whales succeed at their job, we have to know structure first. It's incredibly important. Make sure that you don't let the markets control your emotion. If you're feeling elated when the markets go green, that's a sign you're letting the markets control your emotions. You don't want to be emotional at all. Instead, focus on your knowledge and focus on being the best possible version of yourself. Success will naturally follow. To change your life, you have to change first. Focus on getting out of zone one and zone two into zone three and zone four. Have a great day or night ahead, my friends, and Kate and I look forward to catching up with you again tomorrow. Bye for now.